Hello, radicals and road warriors. My name is TV Skyne, and welcome back to Tears of the... This is a piece of the sky falling down. Welcome back to Tears of the Kingdom, where uh, after our adventures in Terrytown in the last episode, where we're not quite done yet, I have made the decision that uh, Gerudo Town is probably dealing with some troublesome stuff, like a big sandstorm, apparently, and I just sent poor little Madison there <laughs> to go and live, so I feel a little responsibility to maybe now make it my destination to get to Gerudo Town and deal with whatever problem that they have, uh, just so just so nothing happens to her, right? But before that, I accidentally stumbled upon this guy and saw that he had a side quest for me, so... Oh, it's no use. What should I do? I need to sort this out and fast or I'm going to be in big trouble. What's wrong? Oh, forgive me. Oh, I mistook you for somebody else. Maybe don't sneak up on a guy who's clearly having a bad day. I'm sure you were someone from the stable. You're the guy who saved us after that mishap with the monster parts, all right? Well, talk about a bad meal. Say, being sure you're such a helpful sort, maybe you can help me out of the bind. I mean, no. There used to be six cuckoos here, see? And I was hungry, and I figured where there are cuckoos, there are eggs. But when I got close, all except one flew away. Now it looks like I stole them. Do you know what happens to cuckoo thieves around here? Well, neither do I, but probably nothing good. Mm. I know what you're thinking. How far could they have gone with those little wings? They must be nearby. And you'd be right about that, but as soon as I get close, they'll scram. I really need to get the other five cuckoos back inside the fence before someone in the stable finds out. Feathered Fugitives. Hi. I don't know what you're having trouble with, dude. This seems really easy. Ooh, it's about to get lightning. Any of them in the woods out here? Doesn't look that way. No. Okay, well. Back around to check. Hey, wait, wasn't one of them down the well? Yeah, I guess you can't pick them up with Ultra Hand. <laughs> Like, wasn't this the well where there was a cuckoo down there for some god-awful reason? No, no, that was not this one. Thank God. But there was that treasure chest in the wall, but it only had, like, a crappy spear in it, so... I remember things, sometimes. There was one out there, though. So, how far out there can we get before... ...forced to swim here? Okay. Well... That's something we can deal with. Oh, no, wait. See? Like that. Get over here. Darn it! Why on earth is one of them up there? You're the one who saved me from the nasty bout of food poisoning, aren't you? Fancy running into you again. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Down, girl. Is one of them going to be on top of the horse? Got 
That's four. Okay, two still missing. Shouldn't take too long to find, I say, cursing myself. One left. <clears throat> Indeed. Oh, hey, Blood Moon. Oh, God, there's definitely one up here. Just sort of casually climbing up a horse head while the blood moon darkens the sky. <laughs> really hope that doesn't ascend all the or doesn't reset all the all the cuckoos. Hmm. Yeah, not hearing one, so probably there isn't one up here. No, yes there is. Okay, uh... No. Link, please climb. There frickin' would be. back. All five are here! <laughs> oh, Cuckoo Search are coming along nicely, huh? You did it! Oh, it's almost embarrassing. After all your help with the meat and rice bowl incident, you saved my hide yet again. You're my hero! It's just, how do I put this? I really don't want anyone to know the, um, the you know what's went missing. So, here. Nice. You might think of it as hush money and, um, yeah, that's what it is. But the operative word here is money. You like money, don't you? So take it. <laughs> now let's both pretend like this never happened. Farewell. Okay. 100 rupees. That's worth the time. I see a star piece fell down over there. We'll see if we can get to that in time. Huh. Hey, Farish. Huh. Huh. Ooh, good chances of getting it. Yeah. It's gonna be needed for some side quest in the game at some point, I'm sure, so... Yeah. Might be good to grab at least a couple yeah. of them. Okay. <clears throat> then there was that geoglyph. Which is somewhere. That's not one of the ones I've already dealt with, is it? No. But I have already marked it on my map. Okay. So that's down by the... 
Oh, by the passage into... Okay, yeah. For the moment, though, let's try and stick to the roads. Because that will just lead me over towards... Here we go. Oh, right. We also haven't visited the Great Plateau again. We should really do that at some point. But first, Gerudo Town. Gonna stay on task. Does the sign look like that? That's not quite right. Why won't you attach in the middle at all? Okay, well. Uh, let's try it. Not so sure that's gonna work, but we'll see. Well enough. use another bomb flower. Ooh, actually being out here. We can have one little distraction on the way. As a treat, as a treat. We can have one distraction. Which is, I want to see what's in the Colosseum now. Because it used to be that the Colosseum would ho house the highest level Lionel available in your game. Which, like, in a normal playthrough would be a silver Lionel, or a master mode playthrough would be a gold Lionel. Oh, fuck me, I should also get to the tower, shouldn't I? And I am somewhat curious... What might be in there now? Well, okay. Question answered. Oh no, it can cause lightning. Oh no. <laughs> A 
Okay, Thunder Gleok. Good, good. Answered. Question answered. Curiosity satisfied. Yes, Gleok is a boss from uh, the very first Legend of Zelda game. And it's the very first boss from the first dungeon, too. Anyway, come to think of it, I want to go to the goddamn tower, too. And that's... Because I need the map. So let's just circle that back around. I already tried fighting an Ice Gleok, and it did not go well. So I'm not taking on a Thunder Gleok right now. Like, I wouldn't do that without at least having, like, the full Thunder Resistance set at level 2, so you can be Thunderproof. Because... Jesus. Poor uh... Did you... Did you build that tower in the middle of... In the middle of a monster in camp? How? How did you do that? Why would you do that? Oh, Lord. Okay. Well, we're going to have to fight our way up for this then, I guess. Fortunately, there's a shrine down here. Somewhat more accessible. And him. My guy. Really? Here? Of all the possible places? And no building materials nearby. Which leaves us with... Whatever these are. Oh! You can put those in the ground. Closer. That's cool. And I guess that gives us the means to support his sign, too. Rather more easily than usual as well. Yes, I mean, honey, sweetie. Baby girl. Please stop being freaked out so I can talk to you. Thank you. I will complete this man's side quest, I swear to God. I swear, this guy's like a new Korok quest. Essentially, he's showing up everywhere.
Okay. So we're playing with stakes again, are we? Okay. What's the game then? Oh, I see. I see. I see the game. I see the game. Whoop, please don't hit me. Okay, so I'm supposed to do something with that orb to get it somewhere. Where exactly, though? It's like a worthwhile question to consider. Where's the orb going? You could just hang on a sec. Okay, and that'll turn back around if I don't stand. No, it won't. Okay. I get it. 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 Wait. Couldn't I just... Couldn't I just... I know I'm supposed to hit the orb and, like, make it fly over there. But if we're very clever... I think I need to be on top of this thing. Because I need to be able to get it into the... Ah, not quite. Okay. I forgot. Forgot there wasn't ground. <laughs> okay. So that maybe slaps it a little bit too hard and can't really give it the direction I want it to have. So... Oh, 
detach. Oh, it can't detach. Okay, well. That's inconvenient. Um. <laughs> okay, well, that's fine by me, actually. Flung off. Well, that worked. And now it wants me to try the other one, does it? Yeah. I don't think whatever treasure is in there is going to be worth it, though. That's going to be a lot of, of fiddling. Let's fuse some stuff to our weapons so they're actually useful. That's pretty useful. And then let's figure out how we want to assault this. There you are. Why don't you go and wait out here? I have some business to attend to. Oh my. What exploded? I don't think it was meant to. Oh, I see. Hello.
but I quite like that spike ball. Wouldn't mind having that attached to something. Uh, what do I have that would do well with a spike ball on it? Royal Guard Sword? Don't really have any big two-handed weapons, except... Well, that one's doing better with what it's got. Uh... Yeah, I guess you can have it. Okay, kind of short-ranged. But this'll do. Okay, yeah, fair enough. Probably should have seen that coming. When he's doing such a big wind-up. Very nice. Nothing up there, nothing up there, nothing up there. I'll take the fangs and the horns. Trophies from my slain enemies. And time to fly. Oh, there's a lot of sky islands, islands I, can get, I can get to from here. Oh, yeah, shit, there's a lot of Sky Islands. Let's see, any of them that I look worth going to? Well, hmm, going to the Geoglyph is an option from here. I think I would have just enough stamina to make it over to those. And from there I could get to the geoglyph easy enough.
Ooh, I think I can make it to the slightly taller one. Just barely. Come on. Come on. Oi! Hoo-hoo! Right on the edge of it. Whoa! What the hell are you shooting? You're firing rocket arrows? Fuck you! Jesus! Hey, that works. Hmm? Oh, Fallen Star. That gets me over to the Geoglyph quite nicely. And then from here, I suppose I'm supposed to fly to over there. Yeah. Geoglyph. Let's get a story scene going, shall we? Is really if there's nothing else over here? Because that there looks an awful lot like a treasure chest. Can I drain the water in here somehow? Oh yes I can. I believe... Okay. So I can do that, but I can also... But then how am I supposed to stop it from simply falling down and filling back up? Hmm. Oh, I see. No. Darn it. How's that not long enough? Ugh. Fine, but you've given me the clue I need. Quite enough to reveal the treasure chest, though. Unless I can stand down here. Yeah! No, oh, it's not even useful. And then... We do the same trick down here. I swear to God, if you start firing rocket arrows at me too, I'm going to be pissed. 
Oh no, he just has an axe for you. In case you need it. And a couple of pre-cut trunks for you too. Nice. There's no second. But a sufficiently long log should negate that problem. Is what I tell my girlfriends. <clears throat> There we go. Oh no, dried up completely. <laughs> Sorry about that fish. <laughs> the rem- oh, hello. A remnants of a former sage's resolve. If you gather four of them and offer them to a goddess statue, you can deepen your connection with the sages? What? Okay. This is how you power up your sage powers? Oh, that rules? That rules? First one I've found, too. Interesting. Wait, hang on. Hang on. No, hang on. Something doesn't make sense here. How is there water pouring out of here when there's no water in here? These physics don't make sense. That's not realism. How silly. <laughs> okay. Right, Geoglyph, that's where we came from. Why are you flying around up here? Oh, right, that doesn't work if you're not gliding. It's a rather small glyph this time. So look for the shape that is filled in. Even though you might not expect it to be. It also needs to be on relatively flat ground, so that limits the options. Oh, I see it.
Sonia. Oh. Oh, Zelda. King Raru, before you face the Demon King tomorrow, there is something I must tell you. I came, I came to this era after finding a man underground. Hmm. Go on. When I witnessed what the secret stone did to Ganondorf, at that moment, I knew for sure what we found underground, that was him. He was still alive, still powerful. He continues to live on, all the way until my time. In tomorrow's battle, we won't be able to defeat him. No matter how strong we think we are, he'll survive. And you... And you will... Maybe so. But it is my duty to try. <sighs> it was my hubris that set us on this path. I must atone for my error in judgment. And above all else, I remain the King of Hyrule. As with any leader, it is my duty to safeguard and protect my people. Even if I must risk my life. Raru. And if it proves impossible for us to defeat Ganondorf, we rely on your knight and that legendary sword he carries. Our last line of defense will be Link. But remember, that was a future where you never appeared in this world. And you are here now. Zelda, I believe there is a reason you were sent to us. It has to mean something. The reason I am here. Oh. Well, I should mark that as a dangerous place to go. Yeesh. Huh. Permanent thunderstorms. Flash forward to Link bullying Koroks. Link will be our last line of defense. <laughs> let's try and get to a high vantage point and look around. Actually, let's look over in the Great Plateau, see how things are going over there. Oh, well, it looks much the same as it did. I can't help but wonder if there's something now in the Cave of Resurrection. <laughs> Is this for a Korok puzzle, or...? Oh no, it's for something else. Or not for anything. What are you flying around with? Is that a treasure chest?
I should make another skateboard shield, by the way. Just so I have it. <laughs> anyway, I wanted a vantage point so I could look around. Have I marked that shrine yet? I'm pretty sure I probably have, but let's give it a shot. Nope, it's too far out. <laughs> shrine. Not that it was hard to spot, but you know. Oh, are you what we need the cart for? Oh, no, fuck you. Okay, we need a glider for you. <laughs> oh, get fucked. Go to hell. Ganondorf's enormous horse used to be down here. As well as a Lionel. No idea if that's still around. Hey, there's a glider and a rocket and a thing here. Ah, okay, so you could actually go. Oh, hey, there's an entrance to the underground on the Great Plateau now. Oh, geez, I flew a fair ways, didn't I? I need to visit the Great Plateau. I need to. I have to. I have to see. I have to see what's on the Great Plateau now. Because, like, it would be really interesting to me if it, if it was basically nothing. Like, if there was basically nothing on the Great Plateau. I would actually find that quite cool. There's only one way to find out. We know that the Yiga clan are hiding out in uh, King Rome's old house. Wait, are all the old shrines now turned into chasms? At least two of them are. Maybe all three? All of them are. All the old shrines have become chasms to the underworld. Okay. Now that's interesting. Okay. There's a treasure chest there again. Like there once was. This is the section of the game I have played by far more than any other. Like, easily the most. I would imagine there's a Korok in the Shrine of Resurrection. Like, I, I would think that would be, would be would, what would be in there. I do kind of wonder if the old Talus is still here. Oh my god, waves of nostalgia. Is the old talus here? Oh, it is indeed, and it has friends now. Yeah, wake it up, wake it up, come on. Come on, do it.
Okay, fine. I'm in the mood. Darn it. Damn, can't get up that way. Ooh, I also want to know, can I just like bash a talus with a blood weapon now and damage it? No. Not at all. Okay. Still kind of need a way up there, though. Probably the easy way. Does do that still. Okay. Ow! Give me a second to get out of the way, dude. Now, into the ground with you. Ah! Okay, how the hell am I supposed to get up there then? I guess the answer is I'm not. Whoa. That'll do. Oh, ascend. I could probably use ascend, yeah. I just didn't think that any of the, uh, that any of the structures poked out far enough that I'd be able to get an ascend off, but I guess I was wrong. Oh, only ambers? And a heart. Oh, that's kind of sad. <laughs> oh, now I feel bad. <laughs> oh. No, I wanted to I wanted to destroy the material. Cuz I bet. Yes. It has a heart of stone. Oh. So that's because that's near the stable, right? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna head for the Shrine of Resurrection. Oh, hey, speaking of shrines, there's one. I 
I would like that topaz rod, actually. So I can... Go to Terrytown and get Topaz out of it. That wouldn't be too bad. <laughs> and now you can use the we <laughs> you can use the heart for a weapon, so you can use it until you break its heart a second time. <laughs> I know I am cruel. Force transfer. Oh, I see. Okay. Right, so we do. I see it. Oh, not quite. Not quite. There we go. Wait, did I just soft lock? I kind of think I did. Hmm. Okay, well, I have another idea. There's another way to do this. Intended solution be damned. Yeah, yeah, I can fast travel out, I know that, but... That's enough. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Keep it simple. It really is. It's become an ongoing meme in with this game already, that there's basically no puzzle that can't be solved by just constructing a sufficiently long stick <laughs> and climbing it. Yeah, you could definitely also solve that puzzle just by using recall, like just by lifting the platform, letting it fall, then using recall to lift it back up. Come out and play, bitch. Link. 
you can't be missing it at that range. Yeah, that's what like likes are like now. That's what they are. Sit with that knowledge and suffer in it. I have yet to experience what it's like to get grabbed by one, and I have no intention of finding out. <laughs> Have any weapons that are worth anything? No, not really. Can I? No, that would be too easy, I guess. Ow! Bugger off! Man, I really want to explore the entire plateau right now, but... Let's try and keep it to the Shrine of Resurrection for now. And then get back on the road to Gerudo. If you're a Yiga clan member, you probably are. Oh yeah, he definitely is. Hi. I can tell you've trained your body well. Just looking at you, I'd say you're familiar with sword and bow alike, yes? Anyway, you can learn to manipulate the ground with Earthquake technique. Why not join the Yiga clan and do so? I'll pass. Well, you just hear me out before you turn down the offer. The Yiga clan is a powerful, gr brave group of warriors founded by Master Koga and dedicated to defeating a truly repugnant hero. All things considered, I'd say our meeting here was fairly fortunate. Wouldn't you agree, my dear Link? Aw, didn't get his bananas. Anyway, where's the shrine at? It's over this direction, right? Because the Yiga Cla- hmm. The Yiga clan are set up in the king's old house. Oh, you again. Jesus. They're set up in the king's old house. And I wouldn't mind driving them out. Oh, hey, little friend. Damn it. Get back here. Give me money. Thank you. Well, that's hardly a discovery. Link knows where that is. I kind of knew that. But, huh. Some things missing there. On the other hand, though, 
Oh, I just found the Yiga Clan's hideout, did I? <laughs> you really fell for it. Did you really think someone would just leave such premier bananas just lying around? You stumbled into our secret storehouse for treasures from the depths, and now that you've seen it, I can't let you live. Prepare yourself, Link! And here was I thinking I was going to be... clever. By grabbing the banana with... I thought it was going to be clever by grabbing the banana with uh, the ability instead of stepping onto the thing. Oh, I've seen the mechs, Ultra Woman Isa. I have, I have seen the mechs people are making. Believe you me, I've seen them. Authorize a verified. Thank you for driving away the intruders. Those interlopers carried me here with them from the depths. I have no way of returning to where I was stationed there. I will therefore continue my work here. My task in the depths was to manage schema stones. A great deal of sonaite was mined and processed there once. Please hold on one moment. I have confirmed there's a schema stone you do not yet have. Allow me to rectify that. A beam cycle? Oh, you are speaking of my language. I am curious about one other thing. Do you know what auto build will do if you have insufficient parts? It will just consume zonite. Yeah. Excellent. Then please put the schema stone I gave you to good use. Thanks, buddy. One thing I've noticed, I've not encountered any beetles. The other bugs are still here, but the beetles... <laughs> oh, you gotta cut down the trees for them, okay. You guys, really? I always wanted to pull one of those off. Pity it didn't kill him, but, you know, still. Ah, shit, I missed. Usually this is a great way to get parts of... There we go. Aw, the tree got mad. 
up, buddy? Hey buddies. I'm good. None of that for me right now, thanks. Oh, shit. Hi. Didn't see you there. Ow! Fuck me. Thought I had the range. Probably want to restore a little bit more health than that, don't I? one of those. That's what you get when you put mushrooms on weapons. You get a huge bounce effect. I wonder if the old Temple of Time music is still going to play here. Doesn't sound that way. Ooh. I'll take that. I do wonder where the Hylian shield is at this point, though. Don't tell me if anyone in chat knows. I want to find that on my own. Or at least I want to go around looking for it on my own. Yep. Does she just give me... I am trapped under the water behind the stone gate of the Great Plateau. Oh. Huh. Under the water behind the stone gate? Under the water behind the stone gate. The stone gate. Hmm. 
I would have thought they would have put a Korok up here or something. <gasps> oh, the old fabric! Oh! There's a Korok. Good. Would have been silly not to have one. This? Possibly? Oh! Or... Perhaps more likely that stone gate right there. Hmm... Okay. Right. I'm looking down there and I keep expecting a Lionel because I us usually play on master mode. <laughs> and on master mode, there always is one. Knock, knock. That doesn't recover any health, that food. Shit! No! I replaced my armor power! Oh my god. I replaced my armor buff by accident. Nice shots. Where did the other Yiga guy's stuff go? Oh, there. Accidentally replaced my armor power by eating the frozen food like an idiot. Then I'll take these. I'll get myself some more armor power up. I think I have the materials for it. Didn't I get some armored? Porgy, yes. There we go. Some full health recovery food would be nice. That's the lovely thing about, like, truffles and stuff is, like... Where do you get the armor set you're wearing? Oh, it's all over the place. Uh, it's... There's, like, a bunch of side quests connected to the bandit Misko. There. Okay, I have some utility food again. Let's see what they're hiding. Another map. Armor PCA. 
I'm walking as fast as I can. Please just give me a little more time. Wait, you're not one of them. Ah. Uh. You chased off the Yiga clan? You mean I can get out of here? Ah. Hurrah! Those Yiga guys were forcing me to make weird outfits for them. It was awful. Why me? Your guess is as good as mine. Maybe because of my reputation for flashy fashion. I only let CZ brand threads tr touch this body. Uh, I don't want this mask might have fallen through their hands, but I can't bring it with me. Ah. Say, would you want to take this? Oh. That thing is decidedly not my style, but if it's yours, more power to you. I'm actually dressed like this so I can confess the, my feelings to the woman who stole my heart. Her name is Nobo. She's beautiful with a fashion sense that rivals my own. She's probably at, the sta at a stable somewhere, I think, maybe. Oh. At any rate, we're meant to be, so I know that fate will guide me toward her. Take care now. I hope you find someone you love too. The Yiga Bulletin, confidential updates from the hideout. Item 1, our research division has developed new vehicles, the Gloom Dredger and Hover Doom Mark III. If one of these vehicles is damaged, please contact a member of the research division in the depths right away. Item 2, it is imperative that all espionage agents in the field learn the earthquake technique. Addendum, the earthquake technique can only be learned at the hideout's training area. I wonder if that's something I can learn. One imagines not, but... Wait, is that a caricature of Link? Oh, it is! With a little demon mask for a face. Oh, that's cute. They're so scared of me. Is there a shrine over here somewhere? Well, it's definitely a Korok puzzle. Ooh, a black boss bacoblin. Shit, I kind of want... I kind of want his horn. I kind of do. Don't have a lot of bomb arrows left, though. Don't have any left. What do I have instead? Flash fruit? Dazzle fruit? Yeah, dazzle fruit will do. That was the boss. 27. That's not bad for power. But, ooh, they hit hard. Don't like that. Got some horns out of it. Is there a shrine around here, then? Ooh, there we go. Royal Claymore. That's what I like to see. Because then that... Now there's a good weapon. Man, I thought there'd be a cave around here somewhere. Oh. There's a Korok, at least. Not a wasted trip! It's not around the corner over here, is it? 
surely. I think the, the pitch of the sound of the blink, 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 blink kind of thing, that means something. And I think it's about, like, whether the shrine is, like, in a direction above you or below you. Let's see how much we can do with this. Pretty decently. Oh, bees. So if the shrine is around here, it's either in a cave down there or it's up there. Either way. Ah, let's see. Was there anything else I really wanted to do on the Great Plateau? Right, I wanted to go and see if I could find out what the deal with the goddess statue was. That was the main thing. And then... Then, th then to Gerudo Town for sure this time. I promise. <laughs> I'm so bad at this. <sighs> the HUD also tells you if you're above or below, if you're close enough to it. Oh, but that's too easy, though. So she's trapped beneath the water over here somewhere. Ooh, another Yiga clan member for us to kill. Let's, uh, grilled bananas he sells. Indeed. Indeed he does. Stand right up. Come on, chill. Hot bananas fresh off the grill. Nah. Uh. I was hoping you would sell normal bananas, because then I might actually buy some, but... Not so much. Then I'll just take them from you. Okay, so I'm not seeing... Oh, little Korok, you have got to be kidding me. Really? It's on the other side of the river, right? Yeah, okay, well, we can do that. To really build a boat, I can just sort of auto build. <laughs> I'm normal, shut up.
Meanwhile... No, don't attach a control stick to a fucking arrow. No, Link! I wanted to go to the fire. Well, this is new. This is quite new indeed. You can attach pretty much anything to you can carry to an arrow, yes. Okay, well, that's a shrine. That's something. Now the question I have is... What did statue mean by trapped? What did that goddess statue mean by trapped? Intended solution. <laughs> well, no, it's not. Because they're all intended solutions. Like, all of them. Like, all of this nonsense I do, it's all intended. Like, none of it is an unintended solution. Oh, okay, that was... Well, ah. Tell you what, we'll just do this, and this, and this, and this. Thank you. Come on, drop the next box. Okay, I take it I'm supposed to get this... ...over there somehow and use it to climb a thing or something. Oh, wait, shit, it... Huh, 
can't climb a wooden box now. That's not bad at all. Okay. So you definitely need to go here. And you need to come out of there. And then... Oh, okay. I think I see it. Whoop! Oh, congratulations on that infinite shade. That must be exciting. A little too little. But we have the means. Oh, the ice can be electrified as well. Huh. Didn't think that would be happening. Climb up here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Lots of elemental puzzles. Dehumanization of the monster. That sounds like a fascinating topic. Topject. Topject. A topic and a subject, subject at the same time. Fascinating topic is what it sounds like. Still no closer to finding out what the heck that goddess statue meant by trapped under the waters. So am I just hearing things? Guess I was. I thought I heard something like footsteps or wing beats. Oh, see ya, mail. Thanks for stopping by. What 
What did you mean, trapped beneath the waters behind the stone gate? Seriously, that's in my head now. Like, I can't let get that go. There's gonna be a Korok up here. I just know it. Oh. It's his grave. The king. <laughs> okay, but Temple of Time statue, what did you mean? Trapped below the waters. What did you mean? Oh right, I need to get the Korok seeds for the for the ones on the shoreline as well. Uh they were over here, weren't they? Not a hundred percent sure I've remembered to get those. I think I did. Right? Right? I think I did. Okay, could you guys leave me alone for just a second? I'm trying to figure out... ...where and how a goddess statue is hidden underneath the... ...frozen river. Or what the heck she meant. What did she mean, trapped beneath the waters? Ah! Oh, this is gonna drive me mad. This is gonna get me absolutely cuckoo. What does it mean? What does it mean? What does it mean? Ow. No, 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 no. Do you want a hint? A hint would be nice, yes. Yeah, no, I didn't get it. I didn't get it. It's He's right back here.
The hint is the wall of the Great Plateau. Oh, so that would be the gate. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No, 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 no. Link. Surface. Climb on board. Jesus. I'll need you in just a second, so would you kindly stick around? Yeah. Yay, it didn't despawn. Well, ain't that nice. There we go. Okay, the wall of the Great Plateau. Because then the stone gates would be over here. There's not still a sword stuck in the stone out here, is there? Ah, no. But there might be a Korok under the stone! Who was the speedrunner trying to beat this game? Uh, I would go to speedrun.com to look for that. Did you complete the Goron section? No, 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 not yet. Is that a shrine below me? No, not below.
Oh, I think I see. But I don't have any bomb arrows, so... Fine, we'll just have to rocket our way back up. This is fine, right? <laughs> Standing in front of a dam when it breaks. No one gets hurt by that. Oh, hey, it also gives us a way up to the plateau. <laughs> Link sort of like just... Ugh. Shaking himself off. This is one of the things about Tears of the Kingdom, by the way. Is that... It... Like, that it does this to the world, that you actively go back and, like, change parts of... The previous game world like this. Okay, so you're trapped beneath the waters, you said. <laughs> you didn't just get flushed out. No. Oh, wait, you look special. Hello. You hear my voice. Come to me in the Temple of Time Ruins, up the road, on the plateau to the south. Oh, okay. I'll do that. Take a little time to run over there, but I'll do that. You know, if I could grab you with Ultra Hand, I could probably get you out of that filth. Hey, Dick Doc, wanna fight? Uh oh. Okay, back to the Temple of Time. At this point, I also feel like we've probably completed a bunch of the... most of the sort of extra new content that's on the Great Plateau. Short of, like, finding shrines and going into the underground from here. I did the thing. You who hear my voice. As a result of draining the water from the gate, a part of me has been freed. You've earned my gratitude. I speak to you now from the depths below, in the guise of this statue. I see.
you who hear my voice. I direct you to the four chasms across this plateau. Each has one of my eyes nearby. Drop them into the chasms. Then deliver the stones to me who dwells in the depths below this temple. Do all of this and a reward will be yours. Okay. Asking a little much there, buddy boy. That's maybe a little bit more of my time that I'm willing to sacrifice to you right now. So, uh, thanks, but no thanks. I'll be back later. That explains why the shrines were replaced with, uh, chasms. down and round and round mostly just want to get to my horse please I wonder if the people of Hyrule are immune to al altitude sickness yeah yeah link uh, link goes through some elevation levels <laughs> Rather quickly. Okay. Let's get to the next stables, and that's probably a good place to cut an episode. Just a monster camp, or yeah, just a monster camp. Whoa, hello. I wonder if the game will ever actually try and drop one of those stones on you. Need something? Maybe you noticed the Serenai team, survey team uniform? We don't know this area pretty well since we've been assigned to investigate here. Since you asked, we're about to well let you in on some exciting news. Ah. I heard from my sources there's a big hole around here, what we call a chasm. I'm both here to study said chasm and to get the word out so people don't slip and fall in. I suspect it's at the top of that wall, but there's no way to verify that without climbing up there. And <laughs> not that anybody will do in that. <laughs> yeah! I mean, it's true, I didn't climb up there. I figure the flying monsters are the ones most likely to give me trouble. Huh, no sign guy here? Seems like prime real estate for a sign though. Oh, hang on.
I have to play the hero. Scr I screamed so much I lost my voice, but I can croak out a thank you. Ah. You really saved me. I simply must repay you. Uh, take it, it's the least I can do. Oh. You and I met back in Tarrytown, didn't we? In front of that thing that spent Zonai devices. I'm pretty sure I saw you get s put stuff into that machine and get Zonai devices out. There's something similar that Dick Dog suspension bridges to the southwest, so I thought I might go investigate. <laughs> if you're so inclined, you might want to take a look at yourself. You never know. It might contain different Zonai devices than the Terrytown ones. Indeed. Yep. Try not to get in trouble like that again. Honestly, Yiga Clan, that's a little pathetic. It's also very funny that they think that works. It's also not untrue, because, like, I like Mighty Bananas. They're nice to have. They're very useful. So I might pick one up and, like, just deal with a Yiga Clan member who comes to attack me for it. So, have here. The stakes guide you. Right, I think I see. Okay. Elevator. I'd like to bring this with me in case I need it. Hang on. If I'm quite clever, shouldn't it be possible to... Like, just barely? Oh, not so much! Not so much! Okay. They foresaw that. <laughs> <laughs> they saw that coming. <laughs> yeah, they squashed my dreams. Completely squashed them. Okay, so what am I doing up here? Just looking around, I guess. Okay, but can I reach that with Ultra Hand from here? Yes, I can. Okay. Oh. Where the hell did it go? Oh, there it is.
Yay! Hooray! It worked! Oh, mother, I am so happy! I found, Honey Breeze, that every time I try to overthink a puzzle solution, I spent like 20 minutes doing many complex weird things, none of which ever work. <laughs> so you're not alone in having overthought some puzzles. I've done that too. Good lord have I done that too. My goodness gracious. Okay. They play along with the music at the stable. Oh. How did you break your wagon again? Oh my god. Anyway, problem for next episode. Could you get Tara into your care, please? Okay, do you have anything important that I would... Yes, hearty lizards, please. Other than that, no. Okay, let's get the reward, just so I don't have to do it at the start of the next episode. Ooh, a night saddle. Ah. Oh, hell yeah. Ah. Absolutely putting that on my horse at the first given opportunity. Oi. Oh, but for now, having made it to... <laughs> having made it like five... We start... <laughs> we started here. And we made it here so far on our journey to Gerudo Village. Um, but having done that, having covered this much distance in two hours and 15 minutes. <laughs> I'm so bad at this. Having covered that much distance in two hours and 15 minutes, it's about time. <laughs> Fucking hell. Uh, it's about time to call this episode to a close, I think. So, if you're watching on stream, you get more Tears of the Kingdom right now. But if you're watching on YouTube, I'm afraid you're going to have to like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, <laughs> you can become a member of the channel to get early access to episodes. You can subscribe to the Twitch channel to get access to the VODs of the streams if you want to. You don't have to, though. Thank you very much for watching. Remember to be kind to one another. Have solidarity with those who are worse off than yourselves. And may the tides of history wash gently over us all.